All right, so we rebooted, we're back. We'll go to URL. We will go to phone dog. You can go tab browsing, which is kind of nice also. Helio Connect, the Helio's uh, own social networking system. Uh, so kind of a, you know, they, they've kind of done a, a little uh, virtual WAP kind of format, I guess. They've taken our HTML page and kind of re-rendered it for a, uh, you know, for a mobile browsing experience. And you can see on the top here a quick link to the RSS feed, table of contents. You can go menu. You can get a mini map, which is always kind of nice. Although the mini map not really doing that much for you in this view. And so tab menus for your basic web browsing functions, bookmarks, all that kind of stuff. Uh, we will go back here and we'll see what Facebook looks like. Don't forget while I'm loading this up, I gotta do these promo things, but you know how it is. And honestly, this is, you know, this isn't really a promo so much as it's an offer for you. I'm just saying, we're running this game now, the One Pod Bandit on Phone Dog, uh, also on our Facebook page. It's a slot machine kind of game. It's free to play. You sign up, you can spin 10 times a day, five times on Phone Dog, five times on Facebook. And uh, you can win a phone, you can win an iPod Touch, all kinds of stuff. There's been uh, at least a couple of winners, I think, so far of iPod Touches and uh, lots more stuff coming soon, lots of phones coming soon. So uh, definitely check that out, the One Pod Bandit over on on Facebook, or uh, phonedog.com and our Facebook page, free to play. Anyway, uh, there you go. So web browser having some issues here with uh, Facebook. Get rid of that mini map. So page adapted for mobile device, view HTML. So let's go to the HTML view and get rid of that uh, that Helio rendering. So here's the Facebook mobile page that you may be used to seeing. And then we're gonna see what happens if we try to access the Facebook main site, full on HTML experience. Uh, nice thing about the music player and upgrade from the first version of the ocean is that you can have the music player running in the background if you want while you do all kinds of stuff, while you're surfing the web, while you're messaging, while you're emailing, all that kinds of good stuff. Uh, so kind of nice, you know, uh, consumer level multitasking, we'll call it. Not straight up smartphone status, but definitely a little bit better than your average messaging phone. So no JavaScript on the browser, so you're gonna wanna use the mobile version. There you go, you can get into it, Facebook. And we'll take, take a, uh, a look back here, and we will go to All right, so we'll take a step back here from the browser, and we'll go uh, real quick to the YouTube experience. custom YouTube client. Kind of a nice little interface, graphical, pretty zippy. You can also record and upload videos uh, straight from the ocean right up to YouTube, which is nice. And we can search, so we'll search and we'll see if there are any other videos already on YouTube about the ocean too. Maybe I should have typed in Helio. I don't know, I might get, get back some stuff about uh, George Clooney and Brad Pitt. Ocean 2. Oh, that looks like a phone dog video. <laughs> you like how I skipped that first one to get to phone dog? 3G network, pretty good. Sprint's network, you know, pretty solid. Although the video's not playing, the audio's playing. There we go. Hey, what's going on everybody at phonedog.com? Hey, and uh, you know, it's the Monday before Mobile World Congress. 
So there you go, not the uh, absolute best quality, but not too bad. And uh, nice little custom interface there you can do all your commenting and video response and all of that kind of stuff straight from the phone. So uh, more features, more stuff here than we could really get to in the space of one review, but to su suffice it to say, uh, Helio really innovated, you know, going back again a couple of years with all of their social networking, messaging based features on mobile devices. Their tagline used to be, don't call it a phone, because it did so much more than, than just voice calls. Speaking of which, voice calls on the Ocean 2 have been pretty good. Uh, service, reception quality, signal strength has been good when I've tested it, mostly in the East Bay area of the San Francisco. East Bay section of the San Francisco Bay Area, i.e. Oakland, Berkeley, and the surrounding towns. Uh, you know, once in a while, the voice quality kind of diminished a little, but, but in general, you know, I, I would rate it above average for a mobile phone. And uh, no problems with the 35 millimeter headphone jack. Comes with stereo headset. Also used it with my own headphones. No problems at all with it. Also, of course, supports Bluetooth. Um, oh, the one thing that I didn't show you, and I will show you real quick, is this D-pad, because this is also a little bit of an upgrade and I will actually uh, change the settings to show you. So the scroll sensor, and you can see I turned it off because I just kind of got tired of it. But basically, uh, in addition to being a regular D-pad, it's also a touch sensitive scroll sensor. So you can use the D-pad, you can click the ring to go your four directions and then the center of it's a button, the select button you can press, or if you have the scroll sensor on, you can just kind of brush your thumb or finger over it to use it you know, touch sensitive style. Uh, I had it set to being on at first and I eventually just turned it off. I fiddled with the different sensitivities. We just turned it off because uh, I just really found, it, you know, I was accidentally triggering it when I didn't mean to and I was using just the clicking more than I was using the scroll sensor. And uh, kind of handy on the web browsing and for scrolling pages it's good. But, I, you know, I just found kind of overall that um, I preferred just using the D-pad. So there you go. Hey, look at that. See, I got a message. Oh, a couple messages. All of a sudden messages coming through on the IM. So the nice little notifications there on the, uh, oh, see, that's why I don't use that account because when I sign in, people start hitting me up. Anyway, there you go. People hit me up on the IM. So nice little integrated messaging that way up top, kind of unobtrusive. And then on the front, all my alerts. And uh, now I can just go into one of them if I wanted to. And, uh, and there you go straight into AIM and now I can reply. You, whoops, are in, now oh, see, I'm not used to T9 texting. Uh, you are in a video. There you go. All right, so there it is, the Helio Ocean 2. I would say, you know, kind of overall, and, and maybe I should get myself back in the picture here for the big wrap-up. You know, the, the first Ocean, when it came out, definitely ahead of its time. It was kind of a super phone for its time, kind of a messaging phone on steroids, I think is the phrase that I used. The Ocean 2, you know, unfortunately, uh, things have advanced so much now that the Ocean 2 almost feels a little bit dated, but that's kind of only in comparison to what's going on now. Uh, in terms of state of the art. In terms of comparing it to other messaging phones like the Matrix that we showed you earlier, some of the other offerings on the bigger carriers uh, from you know Samsung and Pantech and, and uh, AT&T Quickfire and those kind of phones. Actually for a messaging phone, the Helio, the Ocean 2 still offers you know a huge amount of bang for the buck and it offers features like the integrated messaging, all the GPS and social networking stuff, you know all that kind of stuff that uh, the other phones just really don't. The operating system, like I said, you know, so it, it seems to be kind of a love it or hate it thing in terms of the, uh, the main circular menu and the icons and that kind of thing, but it really works well and you know, the, the notification system and your ability to have multiple protocols logged into Gtalk and AIM and all that kind of stuff all at the same time and kind of keep them all running concurrently, definitely you know, something that most messaging phones can't do. 149 bucks, you get a contract for $65 a month, 500 minutes, unlimited data. That's not a bad deal at all, definitely. And, uh, you know, Sprint's network, um, whatever's going on in the business side of things, their network is still strong. And that's what this runs on. 
So I would definitely look into it if you want, you know, a, a heavy duty messaging phone. If you don't mind or if you even like the size and shape, a little bit bulkier than your average phone, but you get that dedicated keyboard, the keyboard's nice to type on, definitely worth a look. All right, it's the Helio Ocean 2 from Virgin Mobile, because now Virgin Mobile is uh, running the Helio show. There you go, much more on this phone and all the other messaging phones on phonedog.com. Don't forget to play that game, the One Pod Bandit. You might be able to win something. Till next time, I'm Noah from phonedog.com. I'm gonna go deal with my IMs. See you later.